Hey everyone, we're the creators of Rocks of the Spirit. My name is Derek. And I'm Bree. Over time, we've been collecting a lot of crystals, and at this point, we have some really cool ones in our personal stash. A lot of you have been requesting a video of our personal collection, so we chose a little group of some of our absolute favorites from all around the world, and we're going to give you an inside look and give you some information on each one of them. So the first one we have is this large, beautiful, water clear quartz point from Brazil. It almost looks like it's Himalayan quartz because of the clarity and the shape. And it's completely natural, unpolished. This is how it came straight out of the earth. You can see those beautiful striations, which are the growth lines on the faces. And you can see the texture on the, the point that shows it's not been polished. And then here on the back, up top and down here, you have some self-healed portions of the crystal. And basically what that means is that the crystal naturally during its growth period broke off from its origin point, usually due to some geologic activity. And then it began healing itself and filling itself back in. You also have a little bit of iron going on down here, and those are, I think, beautiful inclusions. The next one we have here is a beautiful, lustrous, dark black tourmaline cluster from Namibia. Has these beautiful triangular terminations hardly any damage at all. Super lustrous. And you have some more of the self-healed action going on right there. Back here we have a natural scolocyte cluster from India with really great clarity and beautiful terminations. It's a very fragile piece, but as you can see. <laughs> but it displays beautifully. Moving on to this purple fluorite from Fuji in China. This is a completely natural chunk of fluorite. Has a bluish purple color. And we will backlight it so you can see just how deep and beautiful that color is. And here you can see the back as well. It's gorgeous. Really heavy piece of fluorite. <laughs> And moving on to a black amethyst cluster or stalactite cluster from Uruguay. This one looks like a snow capped mountain range. Very, very sparkly. They did polish these stalactites here so you can see the inside of what it looked like. Some of the most beautiful amethyst in the world comes from Uruguay. Like this one. This one also came from Uruguay. This is an amethyst with calcite cluster, or it's a stalactite cluster. 
These calcites are completely natural. Their shape is totally unpolished, uncut. It's amazing how these calcites grow so well with the amethyst. There's another one right here and another one back here. Beautiful. This one doesn't stand on its own, so we have a little pillow to display it. Now this one is a personal piece of ours from Nigeria. And this is a rare type of hematite phantom quartz that only comes out of one location. And this is one of the best, biggest clusters we've ever seen from that locality. So the red phantoms here are made up of hematite. And as you can tell from the surface texture that this is completely natural, unpolished as well. It's a big one. <laughs> the last one here is called Praise Quartz. And this one comes from Inner Mongolia, China. And the green is from Hedenbergite inclusions. All the points are really nice and lustrous. Hardly any damage on this piece. And the quality is just impeccable. So we hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about all of these fine minerals and please let us know which one was your favorite in the comments below.